Hello everyone, this is Dove again. So I am back out here in my sub overland and doing another episode of my build out series here. And I finally got everything out here, well most, most everything, and because I wanted to see how it was actually all going to fit or not fit. And this has all been sitting out here for about a week. I've been trying to make a video for over a week and for multiple reasons I haven't been able to. But as you can see, I've got it all right how I had it on, on paper. I've got my water jugs up there, my milk crate, my apex, that's my reverse osmosis system, my loo, a thing of cat litter. I've actually got some free space right there. Hopefully it's not going to be too dark for you. The sun's getting ready to set. But I've got all my, all six of my uh, water jugs are up there. So that's where the bed would go. This whole stretch, that would be where the bed is. I got my jackery out here and my trash can. And that's the box that I was keeping my supplements in when I was on the, on the trip to Idaho. And I got my fridge in here, sitting right behind the driver's seat. And I thought that it was wider or, um, I mean, I had the measurements, but I thought it was going to come over here. This is where that hump is right there in the center. So all this down here is the low spot. It really is getting dark. I'm sorry, guys. But it fit right in there. I was surprised. I can get to the door handle. And it does have handles on it. And they do stick out, but I can still close the door. So, that worked. And then if I... I mean, it does fit down in that recess, so now I don't know what to do. I still want to put like a drawer or something under there so that I'm utilizing all this vertical space. Because like right now when I open it, I can't like let it sit open, but I can hold it open. But the seat, you know, the seat is coming back a little bit here I have it a little bit reclined, so I'm not going to be able to just open it and have it hanging open, but I couldn't do that when it was in the back of the rig um, on my way home from Idaho either, so I've just got my notes and everything, so this is just my next phase here. These are things that I need, you know, if I'm absolutely stuck in here, I've been going through and writing down things that I would need, if, like if it was raining or God forbid snowing, or, you know, maybe I had to park at a truck stop. I don't really want to do that, but I want to be prepared for everything. And so I've made a list of everything that I need to reach if I'm in here and I can't, like, have my clam outside or my shower tent or anything like that. And I've just been taking note of things that, um... I still need to have room for down here. I've got a separate list of things that will be stored up top in a in a cargo box. And I've got the measurements and stuff of the bigger things. And the I and the O is whether I need to access it from inside or outside. So it's, you know, I guess it's probably about half and half inside and outside. So it all fits, but I still want to make a drawer there and uh, for my spices and maybe a utensil drawer or something. Because I've got like 9 to 10 inches I can play with here and still be able to open this to access what's in the refrigerator. And then, you know, may, I was thinking, you know, that I was going to have to build a platform because I thought it was going to overhang a little bit. So I thought the platform would have to be there to raise this up to this level. And so I was going to take the drawer and go all the way over to the bed with it and then put my supplements in a drawer over here under the jackery and then over here have my spices and maybe a utensil drawer or something. So I don't know. I may still do that. I really don't know what to do now. I'm kind of just not sure about the whole flooring thing. That's, that's going to be a big hiccup. And up here I have the water jug sitting on a piece of cardboard I found that fit into that area. 
and I thought I was going to be able to fit nine of the water jugs up there, but I cannot. There's six there now, and that's how many I have, and I can get one more right there, but because this is, there's, it's curved up here, you know, it's flatter over here than it is over here, and if, in my diagram, I mean, I basically, I had them sitting all the way up against it, and I, I actually had them sitting like that, because they are shorter than the RO system, that's basically the tallest thing I have, and so I thought I could do that, and I, I can, but then it's going up, I don't know if you can tell that or not, but it's low down there, and it goes up, but technically I can fit three going across, but they might be bumping into the door when I close the door, and I really, I don't think I need nine, so I think I'm going to leave it alone. These are sold in packs of two, so if I wanted one more for right there, I'd still have another one. And I could probably put it here. See, that's a free space when I was drawing it out on the paper that I didn't think I would have. But actually, it's not a free space because I should have more water jugs. So, so whatever. That's why I wanted to bring everything out here because I, you know, drawing it on paper is one thing, but you know, having it physically here in the space is another. But I have this free space. That's my laundry soap and trash bags and stuff. So I could probably get a tote or something. Um, and put my cleaning supplies right there but I've got to do something about the floor over there I mean it's so bumpy and wumpy and then basically it drops down into this low area and I'm okay with this stuff being here in the low area it really doesn't bother me it's all right and but if I have to raise the whole thing up like put a piece of plywood you know or a couple pieces and make one you know, one floor or whatever, for over here and over there, I'm going to lose head space, like, because when I'm sitting on this, down here in the low area, when I'm sitting on this, I can sit straight up, like, my head is touching the headliner, but I can still sit straight up, and if I have to raise this, if I put plywood here on the highest point, I could take the carpeting out and everything, but, um, that's going to raise it even more, and so I would not actually be able to sit up when I was sitting on that thing, so I don't know if I want to do that. I don't like that idea. But back here in the back, here's my clam. Sorry, I'm losing daylight. It goes all the way to the back. It doesn't overhang as much as I thought it was going to. I don't, I don't know if you can tell or not, but no, you can't. It's too dark. But yeah, it overhangs a little bit, but not as much as I thought it was going to. But it can't be here on top. Like, this stuff is only sitting on top just because it was easier than trying to sit my bins on top of those things. So, either way, this is going to have to go down here on the floor, and then I'm going to have to build some kind of cabinetry or just, a, you know, a box around it, and then make... Um, some kind of drawer or unit that goes on top of that so it'd be like a, a double decker or whatever and that's my bamboo table and that's a bag of rugs they're all rolled up and that is my folding chair and I've got another little folding chair right there and this is not everything but it's a lot of it and I just wanted to kind of fill up the space and see what I was had to work with and everything but if I have this um, over here this is about how high I would want it to go I didn't really want to go any higher because then it would block my my vision when I when I'm driving and so that's about as tall as I would want to go right there and uh, I don't think I can make it slide out this way it depends it depends on how tall my mattress is going to be, actually. I was looking at uh, custom foam, and you can get four and five and six inches and stuff. I think I'll probably just do four or five inches. But if I want to be able to access this stuff, like if I have my clothing over here on this side, I need to be able to access that inside. If it's an emergency, you know, I need my clothing in here. And so I was thinking, um, if I can't, if the bed is too much in the way and I can't pull it out, I'm going to have to make like a, a hinged 
whatever so that I can get in to this area from inside. And then, you know, back there it's different. If I open up the back, the, um, the back half of this, like there's three bins there, but I'm not going to use the bins. It'll just be a, a solid wood unit or whatever. Um, then I can make that part slide out. And then these are my solar panels. I can't fit that chair sitting up here in between. So that's why it's laying up there. That, that might be a problem. It's really awkward. And this is not filled up. I ran out of bins, um, out of matching, matching bins. I do have a couple more bins in the house that have the things in it that, in them that will go up, um, up on the roof in the cargo carrier. Oh man, I'm losing light. I'm sorry. So that's just a five gallon bucket and, uh, my books and I can go much taller over here but then I've got a problem if I do that how am I going to access all this over here these are my tool that's my tool area over here I can get into my tools for changing the tire and then that thing I showed you in another video it's got that little hiding um, door Okay. Oh, no. See? And see, it opens upward like this. And then there's that. So if I've got a unit over here on this side that's taller, because I can go taller over here, how am I going to get to this stuff in here? You know, God forbid I have a flat tire, but how would I be able to get to that? And how am I going to be able to lift that up? Because it's on a hinge and it comes out. So I don't know what to do with this area over here. Like, <laughs> not at all. I don't know how I um, can manage that. Like, it would just totally be in the way. Because ideally, I would have had it come up pretty tall. And then I'd just slide stuff out. I'd slide it out this way. And I could slide it out the back. But then how am I going to get into that? So those are my challenges right now, but I've got much more room. I, you know, technically I could have six bins or more over here that were that tall. These are a little bit shorter than those. And then back there, that's just simulating, you know, I'm going to have a five gallon bucket and that's actually my enamel wash uh, dish pan that it's sitting in. So I know I'm at least going to have one bucket. So I just brought stuff out here to take up space and this is a my cot hammock folding you probably can't see it because it's in a black bag and I'm losing light um, this was actually back in my little compartment but we had to use it and so I had to drag everything because I, I actually had it much more full and so I had to take everything out and away so that I could get into that and that that's basically when I realized that this may not work I may not I just may not be able to use this space. It may just be empty space. If that's the point, I could probably just take that whole panel out. I don't know. And then that's my shower tent. And this is a, a seat heater. So I can technically use this space. This is a little portable vacuum that I have. And I guess that's it. I'm losing light. You're not seeing much right now. So I'm going to get off of here. I just wanted to show you that it all does pretty much fit the way I had it on paper. So I just have to figure out what to do with the floor and what to do here in the back. So I will catch you in another video, guys. See you later. Bye.